Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Ah. Out for a little walk here. The sun is so nice here at the end of the day. It's so beautiful. And Sugar Baby, I, don't know. I guess you can't see her. She's got her head down. But she's in this backpack. She if loves you, it. Yeah, if you've seen our last few videos, you've seen her in there. She just loves heaven. It's awesome. Usually she pokes her head out and breathes the wild air. And I think we all could take a lesson from our dogs that they just love the fresh air. Yeah, they do. So we want to talk a little bit about, um, a lot of people say, I'll believe it when I see it. Right. And I'll believe it when I see it, right? And the I'll opposite is really, you got to believe it first and then you'll see it. Exactly. So instead, what we need to be saying and what we need to be teaching for our children is, I will see it when I believe it. And it's so simple and so true. And Jeffrey and I have experienced this multitude of times. Um, most recently, I've been telling him that I'm really anxious and excited to see a bear, right? right. And, you know, obviously not as close as Jeffrey and I are, but uh, close enough that I want to see it. And I just love you nature. You have to speak up a little bit because of the wind. Oh, okay, thank you. I just love nature and I've, I, I love to see all animals, the chipmunks, the squirrels, the, all the birds. Um, but I had really been instinct to see a bear. And we decided during this time to go to Yellowstone. So we were there last week and we entered into the Grand Tetons and cars are racing by. People are honking to get around. And you know, we were going, um, I think around 30 is what they want you to go, whatever the speed limit is. They really don't want you driving very fast because it is such a you know natural area for animals and they cross the street um, from one forest side to the other well you and miss it miss a lot too it's like well, that's the beauty of going through there is seeing everything exactly right? so as we're watching cars like uh, zipping around to get by um right in front of us this bear crosses the street so we immediately pull over and the reason we saw it is we weren't racing to get anywhere. We weren't thinking about anything else. Well, we knew we, we were going to see it. We knew we that were going to see it. Right. It was at the top of the list, and we knew we were going to see it. And it was really magical, and we pulled over, and we were able to um, watch it for quite a while. And I actually got an awesome video of it. Maybe I can try to clip put that in or, or put that in our um we'll be able to do that someday honey don't over promise yeah. because i don't know how to do that stuff yet okay but we, do we just shoot a video and that's we, it right so we've got <laughs> the um additional feed um we can put it in there yeah and throughout this entire trip we believed we were going to see uh we had a checklist of animals and we saw them all yeah every one of them including the fox which was not on our list until someone said uh, there's a fox around here so be careful yeah we were at a campsite and they said be careful the fox will not only take your food it'll take your flip-flops your sneakers right. and whatever else so i'm um, obviously thinking it's food right so literally five minutes later we saw the fox because as soon as we knew it was there we knew that we were going to see it we already believed it and um i just think that this is such an important way to experience life. Believe it and you'll see it. And again, share that with your family, with your children, with anybody that's looking to experience life right. um, that much Well, I think fuller. it's important with kids, but you know, we're doing this a lot with OTGers that we're working with and just mm -hmm. helping people ourselves how to live a better life. It's not just kids. It's like there's a lot of people that get stuck in this yes. rut, right? It's That's like they point. blow right by things and not even see it. Um, you know, we did a video on this one in Costa Rica. We saw some people blow by these monkeys, this old mm -hmm. family, uh, family of humans, blew by the family <laughs> of monkeys. And it's like they didn't see them until we pointed them out and they're like, oh my God. Uh, but, but, you know, we uh, tend to not pay attention and not think that we're going to see those beautiful things right exactly because you don't believe in it you be, you you live by the saying that you know i'll believe it when i see it instead of knowing you're going to see it you've already got the belief that you are going to have that experience 
And it's like that with everything in life, whatever it is that you already know you're going to experience, whether it's, um, you know, a, a new job. Right, thank you, that's where right. I was gonna go with it. Yeah, it's not just, or a relationship. you know, seeing a bear out in the woods no. or, uh, you know, monkeys in the trees. Definitely not. It's like, where do you wanna live? Where do you wanna retire? Mm -hmm. You know, you wanna be on the beach or at the lake? You know, all that stuff. You believe it first and then you will see it. So that's the, that's the message really, exactly. right? Exactly, and you know, um, we're big with relationships as you know, um, and especially I love anything having to do with love. And so if it's pertinent for that as well, you know, you will have love once you already believe it's there. And the best way to believe that it's there is to believe in yourself. And with that, wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from Copper Mountain, Colorado. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see ya.